Uh, dear students of class 11 in Rashtri College, I welcome you uh, to this class. Today, I will discuss on phrases, different types of phrases. Uh, well, though the item is included in your second paper, uh, uh, since we have already completed discussing the uh, uh, items or the things that are included in the short syllabus, I have decided to start taking grammar classes uh, uh, from this one because in your 12th class you may not get enough time. I am sorry, in the scroll you are seeing the uh, subtitle English first paper, but I will discuss the topic from the second paper syllabus. Anyway, ignore the paper uh, title, rather let us concentrate upon the uh, uh, item phrases. What is a phrase? In Bangladesh, there is a common error that uh, we often mean idioms and phrases as the same thing. There is a little difference. There is a little difference between an idiom and a phrase. An idiomatic expression means something otherwise. For example, when we say white elephant, the word, oh, sorry, the phrase, of course, all idioms are phrases. Of course, all idioms are phrases. Therefore, when we write his, uh, this is a white elephant or white elephants come for nothing, actually uh, uh, white uh, elephant refers to something having no value, something of no value, in which neither the words, neither white nor elephant has its uh, uh, literal meaning, rather combination of the two words make a third sense. In an idiom, uh, more than one words are combined together to express something different than the words actually mean. You have sufficient uh, 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 idioms in your everyday use, uh, black sheep, uh, such as black, the black sheep or uh, a red letter day, etc., etc. Actually, idiom means uh, uh, Bagdara in Bangla. And phrase, phrase means a group of words making a unit in a sentence. For example, In the morning, the three words in the and morning is making a single unit in a sentence. The words in preposition in article the and noun morning make uh, are all together making a phrase or making a unit in a sentence. In a sentence, we have uh, a number of units, a number of items, whatever you may call it, and they all together make a sentence. Some units are made with a single word. When a unit is expressed or a unit is constructed with a single word, the word is termed uh, uh, parts of a speech. For example, the school boy
point there. We have three units in this sentence. The school boy is the subject. Point is the verb in the sentence and there is the adverb. Again, if we write the sentence with a different with a different words such as he went in the morning. Who went in the morning? Here we have three units again, subject, verb, and adverb. Here we have three words in this unit adverb. Therefore, we will rather call it an adverb phrase. Thus, a unit when expressed in a single word is called a parts of speech and a unit when expressed in the combination of a number of words more than one words it is called a phrase in english sentences we have usually four different types of sentences sorry four different types of uh, phrases they are <coughs> noun phrase adjective phrase adverb phrase <coughs> and verb phrase usually uh, we have the phrases in the names of four types of uh, uh, parts of speech noun adjective adverb and verb well what is a verb phrase let us come let us start our discussion from the last of the phrase presented on the whiteboard what is a verb phrase you know in English language most of the verbs are uh, presented in, uh, uh, in a single word but there are some particular uses of these verbs when they are presented with an additional preposition. Thus a verb phrase means a verb plus a preposition for example we have the english verb take take has a particular meaning so when we write he takes tea we mean he has tea or he drinks tea and so on. But whenever this take is added with a preposition, the meaning of the, the sense of the word take changes. For example, he takes after his father. That is, he looks like his father. Again, 
look like makes a phrasal verb or verb phrase. Again, you see he takes on a white shirt. That is here take on together makes a <coughs> takes on together makes make a uh, takes and all verb takes and preposition on make a single verb sense that means we are he wears a white shirt. Such are the examples of verb phrases in which a verb is followed by a preposition and the verb and the preposition all together make a single unit in a sentence such as text after or text on or uh, he put out the lamp. He put out the lamp. Here, put out the uh, verb put and the preposition out all together uh, make a sense that is uh, 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 the, the which means darkened. He darkened the lamp. Or stopped. Always remember that the preposition following the verb uh, does not make a phrase with the rest of the words after the preposition itself. That is, out is a part of the, uh, out becomes a part in the verb phrase along with the verb put on becomes a part in the verb phrase along with the verb take. So, we have such verb phrases in the uh, 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 in the English sentences. And other than the noun phrase, the most used phrase in English sentences is adverb phrase. Adverb phrase, adverb phrases are also called prepositional phrases. prepositional phrases. Well, when such phrases used in, uh, used as a sentence, when such phrases are used as a unit in a sentence, they are called adverb phrases and when they are used as the modifiers, post modifiers of nouns, they are called prepositional phrases. For example, uh, he went there, I am going back to the sentence I used previously. Here, there is an adverb. What is an adverb? In a sentence, an adverb determines the time, place, time, place, reason, uh, manner of a verb's uh, function. He, ke he went there, there refers to the place where the verb takes, where the verb takes place. Again, uh, he came in the night. In the night is also an adverb. He 
well point we use the let us use the same verb to understand the adverb uh, uh, more easily he went in the night here the words preposition in article d and noun nine night all together make a single unit in the sentence this unit is called adverb adverb adverbial adverb and adverbial uh, uh, of course since the single unit is made by three different words all the words all together make a single phrase and that phrase is known as adverb phrase or adverbial phrase an adverb phrase or an adverbial phrase is made with a preposition plus noun uh, much often with or sometimes without a modifier look at this sentence uh, look at this prepositional phrase in the night we have the preposition we have the preposition in and the noun night with a modifier d of course he wrote on the uh, wrote on animals on animals is an adverb phrase or adverbial Uh, that is about which he wrote on animals. Never think that on animals is an object. On animals is an adverbial. This adverbial is made of a made by a preposition on and noun animals. We do not have any uh, 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 modifier, any noun modifier. Thus, we have the preposition on and the noun animals therefore this is an adverbial phrase without modifier without a modifier so i think you have understood the construction of the adverb phrases or adverbials uh, which sometimes function as the uh, 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 as the post modifier of nouns. For example, the man there looks sad. The man there looks sad. In this sentence, this is the man there is the subject. The man there is the subject. Here, of course, since it is a subject, it is a noun phrase. Subjects and objects and sometimes Complements are also called noun phrases. Of course, the man there is a noun phrase. Looks is the verb in the sentence and sad is the complement. In a later class, I will discuss subject, complement, object, ad adverbs, 
and their functions in the sentences differently. Today I have already discussed the function of adverbs. An adverb, an adverb determine uh, where, when, why, how, uh, how long, how far a verb functions. In Bangla, simply we can say that adverb means verb kothai hoy, kokhon hoy, keno hoy, kibhabe hoy, kato dure hoy, kokhon hoy, kothai hoy, kibhabe hoy, keno hoy, ebong kato dure ba kato khon dure hoy. These things are in English presented in adverbs or adverb phrases. Here we have the uh, uh, we have, well, uh, we have an adverb there as the post modifier of the word, of the noun man. There modifies not any verb, there modifies the noun man. When an adverb there is functioning here as its post modifier, we can say that. Uh, in uh, in the place of there, we can also have a have an adverb phrase or adverbial as the, the post modifier of the word noun uh, of the noun man. For example, the man in the street. has two sons. The man in the street has two sons. Uh, in this sentence, the man in the street is a subject, is the subject. This subject has an article the, a noun man and an adverb in the street. In the street, this adverbial or adverb phrase or prepositional phrase modifies the word man. Since it, uh, since in the street modifies the noun uh, the man, we will call in the street a prepositional phrase rather than an adverbial phrase in this sentence. Because uh, uh, always remember that. A prepositional phrase modifies the modifies a noun. A prepositional phrase always modifies a noun, and an adverbial phrase always modifies a verb. So when we write, he was seen in the street. In this sentence, in the street is an adverbial or adverb phrase as it, uh, as this adverbial in the street modifies the verb seen. Well, uh, he was seen. While discussing the construction of uh, uh, verb phrases, I told you that in a verb phrase, uh, uh, in a verb phrase, uh, a verb is followed by a preposition. Here we have the unit, uh, verb unit in two words, was and since. A sin, but we will not call it a verb phrase because was is the determiner of the tense form of the verb. It does not make a different phrase or a different sense. Do you understand? When a preposition follows a verb, transitive or intransitive verb or linking verb and makes a different meaning than the verb's original one, we call it a verb phrase. For example, I am giving you another example of 
वर्ड्रेस ही डील्स इन राइस दैट इज ट्रेड्स राइस ही ट्रेड्स राइस द प्रिपोजिशन इन चेंजेस द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड द सेंस ऑफ द वर्ड डील्स वेन डील इज यूज विथ डील इज फॉलोड बाय अनादर प्रिपोजिशन विथ we have a different meaning of the verb deals with he deals with others bad here deal with means behave behaves he behaves a uh, bad with others he behaves bad with others therefore a preposition can bring a change in the meaning of the original verb in a verb phrase but was does not bring the meaning or sense of the verb original verb c therefore was seen is not a phrasal verb rather was is the tense determiner was is the tense determiner and a tense used uh, sorry a verb used to it a tense determiner is not considered uh, an independent phrasal verb or verb phrase but when a preposition brings a change in the meaning of the verb in the sense of the verb we will call it a phrasal verb or verb phrase so we have i think you have got the idea of an adverb phrase or prepositional phrase both are uh both are constructed with a preposition followed by a noun with or without modifiers with or without modifiers whenever we have some nouns with a modifier we will call it a noun phrase i will discuss a uh, noun phrase elaborately later on because uh, we know that when a verb is followed by a preposition we call it a verb phrase or phrasal verb and now we have learned that when uh, a noun with or without a modifier is uh, uh, sorry when a noun with or without a modifier follows a preposition or when a preposition is followed by a noun with or without modifiers back adverb phrases or prepositional phrases but in a noun phrase we do not have the identical modifiers like the other three phrases adjective phrase adverb phrase and verb phrase and how an adjective phrase is made first i show you the use of an adverb uh, adjective as a complement well adjectives are used in the sentences both as a, as modifiers and also as complements uh when the adjectives are used as uh, uh complements they may be presented in a phrase that is called adjective phrase for example when we see when we uh, get a sentence like this one the advocate became happy this happy 
we you often get confused that happy is the object in the sentence never get confused from now on this happy refers to the subject the advocate therefore it is a compliment when a noun or adjective and of course also a noun phrase or an adjective phrase uh, refers to the or identifies we may call identifies the subject it is called a compliment i repeat when an adjective or adjective phrase or noun or noun phrase identifies the subject it is called a compliment not an object the advocate uh, turned a judge that is the same meaning of the verb the advocate became a judge a judge is a noun phrase a noun with a preposition therefore it is a noun phrase and uh, this noun phrase a judge making a single unit that identifies the subject of the sentence this is also a complement well our concern this time is adjective phrase how an adjective phrase is met well if we extend the sentence with a few words like this one the advocate became happy for his success happy for his success makes a single unit in this sentence became is the verb the advocate is the subject and this is the complement now you see the complement happy in the previous sentence uh, has only word only one word therefore we will call it we therefore we call such expressions uh, uh, in a single word as a part of speech here happy is an ad adjective and when we extend the sense of the adjective happy for his success he is thirsty thirsty is an adjective he is thirsty for water thirsty for water is an adjective phrase functioning as the complement in the sentence so what uh, what things are there in an adjective phrase you see in an adjective phrase we have adjective we have an adjective plus for is a preposition and his success is a noun plus noun well here again the noun may have or may not have a modifier look actually we see that in an adjective phrase an adjective is followed by a prepositional phrase or adverbial phrase in the previous discussion in the earlier discussion in the earlier discussion we learned the uh, construction of a prepositional phrase or uh, an adverbial phrase and in the discussion we learned that an adverb phrase or a prepositional phrase is uh, uh, made by a preposition followed by a noun with or without modifiers 
Here in an adjective phrase, we have adjectives with or uh, we, we have an adjective followed by a preposition and a noun with or without modifiers. That is when the adjective is followed by preposition and noun, we may call it a prepositional phrase or adverbial phrase. Therefore, an adjective phrase we may call, we may consider a phrase having an adjective followed by adverbial adverbial or adverb phrase. Adverbial and adverb means um, mean the same thing. Uh, we may call an adjective phrase when a unit is made by an adjective followed by an adverbial phrase. So, we have so far discussed adjective phrase, uh, verb phrase and prepositional phrase. I, in the, at the beginning of this class, told that we have four types of phrases in English language. That is noun phrase, adjective phrase, verb phrase, and adverb phrase which are also sometimes when modifies the noun known as prepositional phrase. In and the construction of verb phrases, adverb phrases, and prepositional phrases, we have the common items, and uh, in all these phrases, we have sorry, we have a function of uh, prepositions. In all these phrases, in all of the adjective phrases, verb phrases, adverb phrases, or prepositional phrases we have the use of uh, 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 prepositions. A verb phrase is made by, I repeat, a verb followed by a preposition in an adjective phrase, an adjective is followed by a preposition and noun and an adverb phrase or prepositional in an adverb phrase or prepositional phrase, we have the words like preposition plus noun with or without modifiers. So, in an adjective phrase or in a verb phrase or in an adverb phrase, we have a function of preposition and in an adjective phrase, the preposition in a, is followed by a noun and in an adverb phrase also there a preposition is followed by a noun. The difference is that in an adjective phrase, an adjective is followed by a uh, followed by an adverb phrase or prepositional phrase, and in an adverb phrase, the preposition is followed by a noun phrase, and in a verb phrase, a verb is always followed by a preposition. So we have uh, a constant structure of these three phrases, adjective phrase, verb phrase and adverb phrase are often known, often called prepositional phrases. But a noun phrase can be made by adding words before or after, before or after 
a particular noun. For example, we have the noun boy, the good boy. We have two modifiers, article the and good and adjective good to modify the noun boy. Here in the noun phrase, we always have a head word or major noun because we may have uh, a minor noun in a noun phrase. And we have modifiers like the good and the. Well, I have used the term major noun. We may have minor nouns in the uh, noun phrases. For example, the school bus. This is also a noun phrase. The school bus came to me. The school bus came to me. The subject is the school bus. Here we have the head word bus followed by W H W head word followed by school noun D. Uh, sorry, followed by a modifier school and another modifier D. You know D is an article and modifier is a noun. We have two modifiers before before the head word bus or in other words the head word bus or the main noun bus is followed by an article the and another noun school in this phrase school is the minor noun and bus is the major noun and this major noun is called uh, the head word in a, uh, uh, to uh, make the sense more simple, we can say that uh, in a noun phrase, when a noun is modified by another noun, we call the modifier uh, noun as the uh, uh, minor noun and the modified noun as the major noun. Well, uh, I told you that unlike the, uh, the adjective phrase or the verb phrase or the adverbial phrase, the modifiers of the additional words with the noun in a noun phrase are not constant. Uh, uh, we have modifiers before the head words boy and bus, even we may have modifiers after the major noun or the head word, for example, the boy on the street. Here, on the street modifies or identifies the noun boy. Boy is the head word and on the street is modifier. D is also a modifier. So, we have modifiers both before and after the head word. The modifiers which are used before the head word, they are called pre-modifiers and the modifiers which are used after the head word, they are called post-modifiers. We have a number of Post modifiers, so we have got an adverbial phrase as or a prepositional phrase as the post modifier. We may also get adverbs the boy there is poor. We have the boy there as the subject in this sentence in which 
there is the modifier and boy is the head word again a man uh, uh crying in pain called me a man crying in pain called me called is the verb and a man crying in pain is the subject in the subject or noun phrase man is the head word a is a modifier and crying in pain is another modifier and originally crying in pain is a uh, a uh, uh, a participle phrase so we have a number of words and phrases that may function as the pre or modi uh, post modifiers in uh, uh, noun phrases uh, in a later class i will discuss the construction of different noun phrases uh, uh, in details since the time is short uh, i am calling a day of this class now and i hope you have understood the construction and use of the adjective phrases noun uh, sorry adverbial phrases or verb phrases well from this class uh, in a later class i repeat if i get another chance to meet you i will discuss the construction of noun phrases in different senses well before leaving this class before calling a day of for this class i advise you once again to keep uh, your own safety by maintaining social distances and so on and stay home stay safe thank you all for today thank you and that's all